Hey guys, this is Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus, and today I wanted to show you how to create one of these pull-down menus just for texturing. If you're like me, I have the hypershade open and I'm trying to see what the render looks like, so I have all of these windows open, and usually you have two monitors, but sometimes you don't have that option or you just need all your tools in one side. I'm going to show you how to make your own workspace dedicated just to texturing. If I use this pull-down menu, you're going to notice that there is no texturing uh, pull down which is really strange so we're gonna make our own and then save it all right so what I really want to make sure is that I have I have my render window and I also need my hyper shade I'm gonna close all of this just so we can kind of start from scratch I'm gonna click on this little guy right here that's my hyper shade it's gonna open it up do I really need all these windows do I really need to see you know this shader ball here when I can see it over here so the answer for me is no so I'm gonna go ahead and close that I don't need this information either because it's gonna show up on my attributes I'm gonna close that there we go I really don't need this hypershade information either, like my materials. I'm just gonna go ahead and close that. And also this. What I really and that. What I really just want is what I'm gonna be working on, which is here. I can always tab to get uh, another node. I can always go to create and find my nodes there. I don't need all that extra stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and dock it over here to the left. So grab it and drag it right here. Perfect. Okay. Just gonna make it a little smaller. Okay, the second thing I need, and it looks like my cap blocks are on. That's actually something that was created like in 2015, which was like a genius move. I remember when it first came up and I was like, oh my gosh, why didn't we get that earlier? Why doesn't Photoshop have it? So uh, yeah, cap blocks on and off. Our engineer came up with that one. Thank you so much. Okay, so the other thing we need is our render window. So let's go ahead and open up our Arnold render window. And I'm going to drag this and bring it at and dock it at the top. So the challenge though is that I don't want it to take up the whole top space. I really just want to be right there, just taking up that space. So now it's going to be crushed, but the reality is, is that I really just need this tiny little window to place my scene. I really don't need a gigantic window. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe crush it a little bit like so. Okay. Now that I have my render window here, I've got this here. I can always open up my attributes and I'm going to have this information here. And that way I can work on my object. I've got my inputs. I've got everything that I need. I also have my render window. I've got this and I also have this. So that's it. That's going to be my texturing window. To save this, I'm going to go and bring this down. I go to save current workspace as and I'm going to call it texturing. Bam. So now when I go to my classic, it will go back. To, and then if I want to go ahead and start shading, It'll take a second, it figures itself out, and then I'll go ahead and have everything ready to go. So this is going to be extremely helpful. This is what I'm gonna be using from now on when it comes to my shading networks and working on this. So uh, hopefully you can see how beneficial this is. I can always press play. I have access to basically everything right here really fast. It just makes everything much more efficient. Hopefully that is helpful. I know it's gonna be helping me with my workflow. Hopefully it will help you with your workflow. Uh, by the way, if you wanna bring it back, all of these things are found under window. So if you wanna bring your browser window up, there you go. You, this is where you can have access to all your textures and utilities. So it, it's not like it's gone forever. You can always bring back your create and then you can go here so it's not gone. You can always bring it back, but uh, this is how I'm going to do my workflow. All right, that was really fast. An introduction to creating your own workspace. Let me know if you have any questions. Again, feel free to share this with your friends if you think it's going to be helpful. Thank you so much again. I really appreciate all of your support. Uh, don't forget to go to Academic Phoenix Plus. Whoops, I clicked on something. Uh, AcademicPhoenixPlus.com. Sign up for my newsletter. You will get pre-release content. You will also get workshops and all sorts of little perks if you sign up to my, uh, to my website. So again, thank you so much for your support. It really means a lot to me, and I will see you next time.